everyone welcome back upbeat on robust ev sales this year after subdue 2023 polestar ceo anticipated growth of the ev as slow to emerge due to weak demands reduced subsidiaries and supply chain issues sweden-based manufacturer of premium electric vehicle polestar is upbeat on growth and sales during the current year betting big on new models to be launched this month its ceo thomas ingler said on friday Ingler's comment after the automakers witness a rather disappointed finish to 2023 amid a price war by Tesla. You know, to be honest, I don't really agree with this disappointing 2023. One of the most important thing of that year was getting the Polestar 4 ready for market production. And so far they did deliver over 800 vehicles in December, I think, in China. It's not incredible, but this year we've got three vehicles on the market. That's even better. I would rather sacrifice 2023 to have a better 2024 and a better 2025 and a great 2026. I'd rather sacrifice 2023. Fair enough, Rivian is catching us up. But companies that lose it are really showing just how difficult this market is. Even Rivian is showing how difficult this market is to a certain extent. The Rivian R2 is not coming out anytime soon. We've still got like two to three years before the Rivian R2 is out. I believe the design will be unveiled this year. But it's still a long way before that vehicle hits the market. And it's just proven just how difficult this building electric vehicles and competing in this space really is. Not to mention, Rivian is building a new factory specifically for the R2. The electric car business is a slow moving business. People suddenly forget how slow Tesla was for many years to unveil new vehicles, to bring new vehicles to the market. Polestar is bringing two new vehicles to the market this year. That's remarkable. That is remarkable. Forget about what everyone is saying. Volvo is also bringing two new vehicles, the EX30 and the EX90, the big family car, big family SUV. So what I'm seeing from both companies, Volvo and Polestar, is growth. Rather slow, but growth nevertheless. And growth matters. The worst thing you can do is to do nothing. Polestar and Volvo are doing something, something that is great. We've got a statement from Thomas Ingalith, the Polestar CEO, and I quote, The end of 23 was particularly tough situation where the competition has gone to discount at a level which we could simply say no to. Companies like Tesla, they were offering so much discount at a level which we just simply said no to doing. I respect that. I completely understand that. It wouldn't make sense for, for Polestar. Absolutely not. And for Tesla, it makes a lot of sense but not for Polestar. And for a lot of other companies, they did that. A lot of companies reduced price specifically because of what Tesla was doing. Polestar said no. Polestar said no to playing along with the Tesla game. I don't know about you, but I respect that. Like I said, I'd rather sacrifice 2023 and have a great 2024 with three vehicles on the market. That's three different Polestar vehicles I can review this year. The CEO also said, and I quote, Our Polestar Premium segment is less about the price war and more about consumer appetite. And that's true. This is not the first time the CEO has addressed this. He's addressed this before that says, specifically, Polestar is about branding. The brand needs to remain strong. The brand needs to show a strong hand. It's like playing poker. You can't just bluff your way out of everything. You have to show a strong hand in order for everyone at the table to respect you. Polestar wants to be the next Porsche. In order to be the next Porsche, they can't just be seen as dropping prices. That's that's weak. It lowers your brand value overall. I'd rather Polestar continue to grow their brand value rather than them just following what, what Tesla... Tesla can do that because that's Tesla. Tesla has a moat. Tesla has a system that they've been working on for over 15 years, almost 20 years. It works perfectly. Not every EV company, especially a startup like Polestar, not every EV company has this luxury. But what the CEO also said is, we have to tempt them and tease them into spending on a new premium EV. Marketing and branding is their key element. I want Polestar to understand that. Marketing is different from branding. Let's be honest. And no one better has illustrated that than Nike. Marketing and branding are vastly different. Another company who illustrates that very well, Rolex. Marketing and branding are very different different. What Polestar has been doing quite a lot is marketing. What I want to see more from the brand, branding. 
Brandon is different. Your brand has value. What, what comes to your mind when you think about Porsche? You must be rich to own a Porsche. Yeah, it's premium. You're not going to get a Porsche that's on sale for like 25% discount. No one wants that Porsche. Who sells a Porsche at 25% discount? No one. Porsche doesn't. So why should Polestar? No, we're trying to build a brand. So this was a strategic brand move that they made specifically not to lower prices. They could have lower prices and delivered a lot more cars. They decided not to. I understand. I respect that. That's why I invested in this company because I see great potential in this company. I really like what they're doing. I do think they can be a strong brand. I do think when you think of the Polestar name, it can resonate with something high quality of life, similar to Porsche. And don't get me wrong, Polestar will never be like Porsche. Porsche has been building their reputations for a generation. Porsche in racing categories are known to be some of the best racing teams. You can't compete with that, especially overnight. So Polestar is not really trying to compete with that. But what they can compete with is with the road cars, the, the Cayenne, the Macan, the, the Taycan, and maybe a little bit of the 911, maybe. You can't really compete with the 911, but you can, in, you can entertain that audience, sure. But you can definitely compete with the other Porsche vehicles. That's for damn sure. So Polestar, which is owned by Volvo, will open European orders for its new Polestar 4 Coupe at the end of January and launch production of the Polestar 3 early this year after production was delayed last year. Yes, they sell less vehicles, but production was delayed last year of the Polestar 3. We quickly forget about that. What I'm confident is that Polestar won't deliver 100,000 vehicles this year, but I'm confident that they'll be delivering over 100,000 vehicles by 2025. And I'm confident that they might be delivering 150,000 vehicles by 2026. The EV maker said last week that it delivered 54,600 cars in 2023, short of its target of 60,000. And this is after it, they reduced their initial target of 80,000. And I believe even before that target, they had another target. So this year was supposed to be a very different year for Polestar. But let's be honest, Tesla started kicking off the price, the price differentiations between their EVs. It's, it's, it threw a spanner in the works. It sort of uprooted the entire EV industry and the entire EV ecosystem. Suddenly, companies had to be competitive. You couldn't just sell a car for the price you wanted anymore. You have to be competitive with Tesla. Polestar said no. <laughs> and I like that. Because you know what? I think that's going to pay off. Not everyone will want a Tesla. People will want an alternative. And this is a great alternative. Name me another alternative that is worldwide. I'm not talking about Lucid. Lucid is mostly limited to America. And a little bit in the Europe. Rivian, limited to the US. Name me another, another company that is worldwide that started as an EV company. Not an ICE company that transitioned into making EV. No, started as an EV company. And they are a great alternative to Teslas. That's Polestar. And I think they're the only one. Is there another company? I can't think of one. And they're being overlooked by one of the best automakers of all time. If not the best automaker of all time, Volvo, who's, who's been known to make the safest cars for decades. So Ingolf told Ruta that Hertz was not selling any Polestar and he still believed the US company would buy 65,000 Polestar over five years as planned. He said Polestar data show EV repairs costs are similar to those of fossil fuel models. Hertz did not immediately respond to a request for any comments. That's quite interesting. The Polestar repairs are quite similar to fossil fuel vehicles, internal combustion engine vehicles. But here my, here's my thing. With self-driving technology improving so much on a Tesla, vehicle accidents will gradually reduce on Teslas. Owning a Tesla will be the safest vehicle to own in the world. I can honestly admit that. I can honestly admit that. So that's, that's the real competition for Polestar. How are you going to compete with Tesla's great, incredible self-driving technology? The good thing is that Polestar is not alone. In order to develop this technology, it can be done through Volvo because they're the parent company. They're the, they're the lead. Let's be honest. It can be integrated with the self-driving tech that they can develop. You can integrate it in Polestar cars. You can integrate it in Lucid car, also owned by Geely. You can integrate it into Zeker, also owned by Geely. You can integrate it with Geely cars, vehicles that they're building like Lincoln Co. Basically, Geely is the VW of Asia. And this gives them a great strategic hand when it comes to building these softwares for self-driving softwares. Because they have so many cars worldwide, Volvo, Polestar, Lotus, and they're, and they're selling new, great cars. 
This technology can be integrated into these cars, but do they want to take the risk? It's risky building such driving technology and just putting it out in beta. It's risky, but it needs to be done. Just give the baton to, to Tesla. Just give them the trophy because they've already won. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.